Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's get into another one. TNT. So I saw an article uh, that said that pedestrians are more likely to give a panhandler twice as much when they're dressed in a suit rather than just like jeans. They did like an experiment. Yeah. Um, but oh, wait, if I, like a like a wait, like a business suit. Yeah. And then I, then uh, what I thought was like, would I give money to a man begging in a suit? Period. Like I'm like, I've never met a man begging in a suit. <laughs> well, right. That's like I was like, who the hell? Where is this experiment coming up with? It got me thinking like. Because here, okay. Oh, maybe they mean like a guy who's like playing the violin or something in the subway and he's wearing like the full get up like a suit versus like just a guy in like a jeans and a Carhartt. Oh, uh, I guess I guess when I think of panhandler, I think of Austin like sitting yeah, on the side of the yeah, freeway yeah. panhandler yeah, and they're all yeah, like, yeah. they all look like they're. But they're more like Sixth Street panhandlers. Yeah, where you're out a, there a just play, playing spoons or something, or you know? walking around with a snake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take I guess, a picture I guess, with my snake. I'm panhandling. Yes, technically, those are, are all panhandlers, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, like, I don't know. Like, what – like, I personally never give people begging for money money, but I will always offer to give them food. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because, like, if you're hungry, I'll gladly buy you some food, do but you, I don't I don't want to support your, like... Do you ever tip the, like, the musicians downtown, though, or, like, the snake guys? Uh, sometimes, yeah, I guess. So, like, yeah. if I interact with them, usually I do. Yeah. Like, I went downtown, and there was a guy dressed up like a golden cowboy, and I took some photos of him, and I gave... I tipped him afterwards, because he had a little bucket out, do, so... Do we have to pay the guy from, uh, the goat and your mom? Yeah, we had to pay him for pictures. Okay, he so... He was paying uh, him... We paid him, like, five... Five bucks for yeah. For, we did get a goat in your mom pin though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he he offered to do my wedding if I should ever have one. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Nice. I remember I was like, dude, I want you to do my my wedding, and he was like, all right. He was like, gave me all his information. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I've been to their website, uh, and well, they have booking. What's funny about him and them is they. Uh, I have a friend who lives in a small town in West Virginia. Mm-hmm. They came to that bar, the small bar in their town, and did a show. I don't know really? why she was like, she messaged me one day. This was like years ago. And she's like, she goes, goat and your mom came to the bar in my town. Oh, <laughs> she was like, we were outside hanging out, smoking cigarettes with them and stuff. And I was, he's like, they, she's like, they are really weird. They and are I, weird. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have gone and see that. I wonder if they're still doing shows. I'm, they're I'm, in Texas. I, mean, I know they're in Texas. Yeah. We probably could find them in Austin somewhere. I would I would definitely go to a Goat in Your Mom show just because it's like it's that wild. It's like, it's like I've, have you ever heard a Goat in Your Mom song besides the one from the Tosh, Tosh video? No, I'm sure they're all the same, dude. They're all just they're all just vulgar, gross songs. But the, even the song in the Tosh video, I wasn't watching it because of like the, it's the attraction, the not the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. It's kind of this climate. I don't know how you get around. He used to, didn't he wear like a Confederate flag speedo? No, I think he just had a Texas Texas one. It was the same one he has on in the picture. Oh, yeah. Because he went around, he had it on, uh, what was that? It was cold out, so it might have been New Year's. Was it New Year's? Yeah, because the only times that you came to Austin before you lived here were around New Year's. Yeah, and that's where, so, I, and it was definitely New Year's when we saw him. But yeah, I was wearing a t-shirt. It he, he's been that just bad. out there. He's just out there in a Speedo and a cape. Yeah, hey, look, man, more power to him. He probably gets, you know, some opportunities with that. I would say, yeah, like, if you, like, I feel if you go downtown dressed up in, like, a costume that's, like, a war, like a, you stand out, right? Not like just mm-hmm. you're down there like in a Halloween costume. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you're out there and you're wandering around, people will ask for your photo because it's Austin. It's tur- That's a touristy part of Austin. Exactly. And if you're like five bucks or whatever, I don't think anyone's going to. There was a guy down there one day. I took a photo with him. He was pretending to be little Wayne. I knew obviously he wasn't, but I pretended like he was. I went Whoa. up and I was like, Wayne, can I get your picture, dude? He's like, yeah, homie. Get up. He's like, and I was like, Somebody's going to believe it. Right, yeah. I just went there. I played it up. I was like, this dude is not little Wayne, but I'll go up and pretend he is. Oh, like, dude, he probably thought he had you. You look racist as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally went up. I was like, Wayne, can I get a photo? He's like, He tried to be all smooth and stuff. And like, I'm like, <laughs> I remember when you came uh, when you came in the house last night from the grocery store and you were like, oh, my God, little Wayne's here. I'm like, Jonas, it's me. <laughs> like, you were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, God, I totally thought you were little Wayne. Always Wayne's. get you. 
confused with him. <laughs> we went and saw Black Adam. He was like, I didn't know Little Wayne was in this movie. I'm like, that's the Wayne the Rock. He's Samoan. <laughs> Not even the same. Wow, I'm just I'm trying like, to lay job. on the racism about me. Thick, huh? I'm trying to put, paint a picture. Barack <laughs> Obama won the presidency. I can't believe Little Wayne won the presidency, Jonas. <laughs> That's what he's Hawaiian. Lil Wayne won with the Cavs, right? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, it's like I feel like like yeah, if we dressed up and went downtown, we could get some money. <laughs> what? I'm not dressed. Up. That's the business we should get. Oh, into. Look, you've already proven that we could make more money dressed in suits than we could in jeans. So that means that we apply that information. We got to go get some tuxes. We, get, we wear tuxes, go downtown, and okay. talk to people. Uh, okay. Honestly, not a bad idea, I, except for tuxes suck. And it's very hot in Texas. Even Sorry. now, like, I wouldn't want to wear a tux. No, I wouldn't want no. a suit outside. Maybe at that. night. It got pretty, it was like 55 degrees. This yeah, morning. like, yeah, of... here in a couple weeks, like, throughout the winter when it gets down to, like, the 50s at night. Yeah, that'd be okay. But, like, man, in the summer, 90 degrees at night downtown in a damn suit, like, just sweating. <laughs> Yeah, man, but that's why they get paid more because they're like, man, I can tell this this guy really he really needs it. Yeah, yeah, right. He's, he's like, going he's, this far. He's going downtown to wear a suit to beg for money. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I think the goat in your mom is probably one of the only guys that I've ever like given money to. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I needed that picture because everybody had gotten one with him that I knew and not me, and I was just like, it has to. I have it somewhere. It's on a hard drive, I think. It's on my phone right now because I always uh. Oh, every so often, I dump my phone onto a, onto my hard drive, so I have like just mm. just dumps of like oh six months worth of photos. Just dump them on the hard drive, and then I never go back to look at them. And then so you never look at them. Again. Yep, they're gone forever. Never look at them. I should. I should go back and see all the pain I had in my heart back then. Oh man, the art of the photo album is dead, man. It's yeah, so dead. Yeah, my right. grandma had a ton of them, and I was like, what the f, dude? There's yeah. so many pictures in yeah. here, dude. I'd rather just put them on a screen. And, and you know what? It's like, I, I don't want to be like, I'm very not nostalgic, but I have to say is that last time that I went back to Cleveland and I was uh, hanging with my mom, me and her went through, she had three big photo albums and went through pictures from like 1980s. Yeah, yeah. And it was from like, even like the 1970s and stuff. Uh -huh. And we're looking at all this stuff and it was, you know, she was explaining to me who was in all of these pictures because I didn't know any of these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was a it was honestly it was a beautiful moment, and I just fear it's like that's never gonna happen again. You know? Oh no, nobody sits down and looks through photo albums no, of anybody anymore. No. Yeah, my grandma used to do that too, and like it would just be like, and this is Sally, and we went to high school with her, and she came over, and we had yeah. Huh, I'm wondering, Jonas. Yes. Like I don't want to put this out there, but what do you think about like a digital device that you could just like airdrop photos to? And it had like the same like tactile feel of like a with like the flipping of the pages of like. Well, it. they have those. I bought my mom one, a digital photo frame. I can just send. Yeah, the photo to... frames, but it's not. It's not like a, if it were on like a tablet with a touch screen, and you could just like flip through the pages and stuff. I don't know. I bought my mom one of those too. She never used it. Yeah, no, my mom liked it. No, it is. You can flip through them and stuff. It's just I don't know, man. They're they're kind of cheaply made. It's essentially yeah. like a tablet with yeah. with uh, alternate uh, software on it just to make it as basic as possible and yeah. like. It, but I mean, I like it. I mean, she seemed to like it. I just, I, I, I don't her. know. I feel like it's all in design, but I feel like there's something to that. I could even see like you know putting like short videos on it and stuff like that just to keep stuff. Because some of that stuff, you you lose a phone, it's gone forever. Yeah, you ain't wrong. That's why everybody backs it up to the cloud, then they get hacked, and then they're like, <laughs> "Oh, why did all my nudes get put out on the internet?" <laughs> like, because you backed them up on the internet. That's why. Yep. Well, that's why you don't put your nudes on the internet anywhere. Like, where else am I? Everybody's nudes are on the internet, Jonas. I have no nudes on the. Everybody's internet. nudes. I have no nudes on the internet. I, I, you know what? Good for you. I guess you're just freaking special. I then, guess huh? I'm just pri uh, my privates are private. <laughs> I guess you're just so special. Private huh? privates over here for Jonas. <laughs> Please do not look up any TNT rule 34 right. yes yeah they just have like hentai view <laughs> somebody out here one of our fans is making rule 34 tnt dynamite videos honestly i want to see that in fact make it make it so that it's uh it's a uh, yahweh and it's me and jonas oh, get out no no i don't know what that means but i don't think i like it you would not like i it. would not like it <laughs> anyways like it. all right then i guess, I guess <laughs> go to rule 34 tnt uh that's all the time we have for today's episode go to the crazytown.com and subscribe for jonas tnt oh yeah